Man, I've missed you guys. What's going on YouTube? Graves in the here and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Now I I received my Elgato actually four days ago, which was Monday. I just hadn't had time to uh, to sit down and start recording. But um, I'm back. So Saturdays when you guys are watching this recording, it was uh, Friday night. In any case, let me update you guys on uh, what went down since my Elgato, previous Elgato was not working. I actually recorded the highway extension or tried to record the highway extension here before, uh, before it completely died. And yeah, I do have some video footage. I thought about maybe putting it in a um, time lapse, but it was it was kind of choppy, right? So it would kind of like start here and then it would stop right here, cut right here. I don't know why. Um, it, it probably had to do with with the hardware issue and whatnot. But um, I decided just not to do anything and uh, and show you guys what it is that I did. So coming down over here, if you can see, I kind of fixed how the train tracks, if you guys remember, train tracks were, were raised over here and they were just coming across and this highway kind of stopped right here. So I made the underpass for the train tracks. Then I had this road right here extend all the way out this way and go under the highway and then the highway go over. So the idea behind this whole thing is that this highway is going to come out this way and meet with possibly the oil fields that we're going to have out that way because we do have some oil out there. And then down this way, I know I want to buy that tile there. I know that for sure. So we may have to do a funky highway extension from here to that side over there in order to make that work. So not 100% sure there is uh, a <laughs> there is one thing that I wanted to build and that is the uh, the fire helicopter depot because uh, this park is yet again on fire. So currently the only way to get this to stop is there's actually no way um, it has to burn down and then the rescue helicopters are going to come look for survivors and then do their own thing and um, then we have to rebuild them so let's um, let's do that let's build a fire helicopter depot before we do that we are at 157,000 in the bank about 12,000 coming in weekly 16 and a half on population and we have a pretty good demand for residential commercial as well as industrial and looks like we had another fire all the way out here. Yeah, we definitely need that fire helicopter depot. So let's actually come out here and uh, possibly temporarily put one right here. Let's see if they're going to come out right away. They will. Look at that, too. Three. Any more? Can they handle more? Nope, just three. All right, so all three of those guys are going to come over here, grab some water, then start putting the fires out. Uh, while they're doing that, well, let's um, let's work on this little area over here. So. I'll put the game on two speed one. I want to make a little bit of money while we're doing this because we just spent 50,000 for the fire helicopter depot. So I'm thinking I'm thinking we build a European high density um, college dorm campus right over here. We have the university there and whatnot, so let's let's do some some dorms over here on this side, and we're gonna do that by simply extending out. Uh, we can uh, 
Let's see, how do we get a straight line here? There it is, we'll do something like that. It's not gonna be overly populated. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room in between for some uh, for some trees and whatnot. Um, so we'll do something, uh, something like that. We gotta make sure that we have some water here as well. Now let's try to get these pipes to line up nicely for us. But uh, how long has it been? Like three weeks since I've uploaded a video, and I gotta say, I, I got the <laughs> I got the little nervous jitters before I started recording this one. I don't even know why. It's not like you know I did two videos and then stopped. Um, I don't know why. I just I, I don't know why. I kind of like little nervous jitters before I started recording. And then I was like, dude, stop it. You're a professional. Not. No, but it is a, uh, it is good to be back. What have, uh, what have you guys been, uh, been up to? Um, I, uh, I'm actually approaching the end of my lease. I'm currently leasing a car. So I'm, I'm gonna be getting a new lease here in, in the next month, month and a half or so. But I haven't, uh, I haven't exactly decided what that's gonna be. Um, so that's kind of what I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of secretly car shopping online, uh, looking at, uh, looking at seeing what the best deals might be out there and what, what I can afford and all that good stuff. Um, on top of that, of course, work and. Uh, family stuff and all that, uh, all that good stuff. So it's definitely been uh, been keeping me busy. And you know what? We are gonna we're gonna put a little um, hospital, not a hospital, a little clinic inside of the complex or the dorm complex. Uh, we are also gonna put a fire department and we'll put that all the way at the end over here and what do you guys think about a police station yeah let's let's put one of those two we'll put that right uh right on the entrance in here we have a one park how about can we fit a a decent size park here. Eh, I don't really want a playground. Uh, which one is this? That's a large playground. I don't think uh, I don't think folks in college would would dig a playground. So let's. Why would that not? It looks pretty even, but it's it's not fitting. That's not nearly centered. What if we do this? Or this? That's not bad. Let's uh, let's let's leave it like this. We'll leave it like this, and I just realized that uh, the volume with the microphone was turned down a little bit. I don't even know why. Hopefully, it's a little bit better now. Maybe a little too loud. Okay, we're gonna leave it at fifty-three. Hopefully, fifty-three is a good number. All right, so we do have demand for commercial. And a commercial we shall have. So let's come. We'll come over here. We'll add a little bit more. So just right in there. Um, we can. We can put all of this here as a high density commercial. And then a little bit more of the lower density right in there should suffice. 
Uh, let's put a couple of additional shops there and there and in there. And I think that'll uh, that'll kind of make that demand and go down a little bit. And then over here in this area, I'm thinking a European office complex. So we're not going to make it big, tall buildings like this. So we're just going to stick with the, the stock European theme there. And we can easily do that by let's we'll start here just random but should work so we'll come out all the way over here uh, it's, it's gonna be the the typical grid design but if you guys if you've played on European maps you'll notice that uh, it actually works really well with the same height buildings I'll show you what I mean here in just a, just a moment. Oh, come on. There we go. that up to down there perfect and there we go that's it right yes okay so to transfer power let's see where we're at we're gonna need something over here so that something is gonna be <clears throat> It's gonna be a little park. Actually, ooh, a plaza fits perfectly. All right, let's go ahead and put a plaza there. We are. All right, sorry about that. We are gonna put in a pathway here to kinda sorta connect with this one right in there. So that's gonna transfer power and then we're gonna zone all of this with offices. So let's go ahead and put in just a teeny weeny bit of commercial there and there. And the rest is I'm gonna be offices and here. Let's do some low density commercial. So for that mix the zone feel, if you will. And then over here, actually, we can do a smidge of commercial and we can put a pathway in through there and one more through here which means that we should make that just like that so uh, this area should come together here pretty soon. Let's come over here and rebuild everything that burnt down. I do plan on finding a better area for the fire helicopter depot. I don't necessarily want it to stay here. But for the time being, that is the only place that I could think of to put it until we unlock I want to say possibly this tile up here I think it would fit pretty well somewhere over there kind of tucked in so let's see uh, the plan for this area here is going to be so this this triangle that you see right here so that square right there square triangle is what I <laughs> what I just said um, that right there we're gonna make that all of the high density buildings so there's gonna be commercial IT cluster offices some high density residential all of that is gonna be crammed into this triangle it's gonna be kind of the you know city of the city and uh, the rest we're gonna make uh, lower density um, European buildings kind of surrounding it for a really nice skyline. So if you are looking from here, just imagine to the right of the tall building. So there's going to be more of the skyscrapers and whatnot. 
So lower density, you can see the whole city from there. And you can see it from uh, from the, from what did I, oh, Saddle Rock Ranch is what we called it. Yeah, you can see it from uh, from here as well. Can you see it from the power plant? Yes, you can. Pretty cool. So, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be kind of the plan of what uh, what we're going to do. I think Metro Man mentioned that uh, you know don't do too much of the uh, the high density buildings and whatnot. And, and I agree. I agree 100%. So that's why we're just going to stick to kind of like this triangle here. And the rest will make just lower density or just use the European buildings. And it seems as though we have forgotten some water here. No, we didn't actually. We are running low on water. What are we using here, by the way? Are we using water towers, water pumps, water pumps? That's another thing that I can't uh, I can't forget. We're gonna have to move these um, somewhere else, somewhere a little bit more becoming rather than in this area here. I don't know exactly where yet, but we'll find a, we'll find a good area for him. Don't you worry. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some of these unadjudicated worker demands and the abandoned buildings, just so we can have everything um, kind of stabilized. So we moved in a whole bunch of folks. We moved in about uh, 2,000 people just now into the complex over here and provided a ton of jobs over here. So a lot of these are going to start screaming that uh, there is not enough educated workers. There is not um, or not enough workers, period. And uh, that is going to solve itself as soon as we get everybody educated. By the way, let's look at education. Elementary school, you can see nobody here is educated here, primarily because we don't have a school nearby, but that's okay. High school, we do have enough capacity for the time being. Again, nobody here is educated in the university. We have plenty of availability, but nobody here is educated and very few people here, which is uh, which is what I wanted. If you guys recall in this district here, I believe I put in, yeah, the school's out policy. So we'll leave that there. What about this district? No, I think it had to be this one. Yeah, this one over here. So all these folks should technically be getting jobs over here on the farm. What about Saddle Rock Ranch? Did we do it here? I don't think we did it here. I think we should do it here simply because they are very close to the farming area and they actually can work there. So let's take a look at education one more time and see yeah, so none of these folks have gone to uh, to university, which is fine, which is great. So they can they can stay working here in uh, in the farms. The farms are level five or five stars, whatever you want to call it. We are about one hundred workers shy of where we need to be. And I think that's going to populate itself with the folks from here migrating to to work over here in the farming area. I've been wanting to take a look and see about milestones. So next milestone, we're going to be a grand city. We're going to get a third loan and a solar power plant. I was really hoping for another tile. I mean, we have one right now. Um, but after 
that, it's 30,000 population before we unlock the other tile and we get access to cargoes. So the harbor, cargo harbor, and the eco water treatment plant, which is certainly going to help with that mess there. But um, we do have we do have an additional tile we can unlock. I am almost thinking this one here. So this one. Uh, simply so we can kind of prepare for the, the cargo harbor and kind of start building out that way. Maybe even have this road curve and be a, a coastal road and move the move the train tracks a little bit and kind of, uh, kind of hide them out. Decisions and decisions. Let's not make it overly complicated. Let's just go ahead and buy the sucker and, and go for it. So we know that... Uh, this road should be curving because I do want it to be a coastal road. Uh, we can also... Man, these things are friggin' expensive. But we could use them. We're gonna need to use them to, uh, to clean up this whole area here. So I'll put just one there for now. We're only at 141,000 for the time being. And let's see, how how do we want to do this? I know I'm going to want a super small farm here. Maybe even forestry. We can definitely have a little bit of forestry over here in the hills. Hmm. Good idea, man. Good idea. But, um... I don't know. I don't know if we should start with the with the rough draft now of a of a coastal road. Should it go straight? Should it curve around? Uh, definitely keeping this. We're gonna turn this into a natural reserve park. Yep, that's gonna be that. Um, hmm. <laughs> you know what? There isn't really a whole lot of things that you can do in this game that you can't fix later. So let's just go for it. Let's run a, we'll run a road. Let's say to there from there. This one, we are going to freeform. So let's have it. We'll have it come We'll have it come to exactly right there. I think that'll look uh, just a okay. And then this one we're gonna have it meet There we go. That should work. It doesn't even look that bad. Here. Here, we're going to have um, a commercial area. No, better yet, we're going to have a leisure area. And that leisure area is going to consist of... Let's go ahead and put in a district because we don't have a leisure area just yet. So, let's... You know what, I'm going to use the bigger brush and then I'll clean it up a little bit later. There we go. Let's go ahead and apply the leisure policy, which is in this one. No. No, because that's that's not going to work with uh, with the skyline. Let's let's go ahead and make this a tourism district because that'll still give us some of the taller buildings unlike leisure and then leisure will make uh, will make down here so yes that's going to be tourism tourism area is going to get some of these really nice roads with trees they're going to come to about there they're going to go under the uh the highway can we sneak a road oh look at that we can so we'll do that we'll connect 
right there. And let's see. Don't want to connect down here, but I will get the road a little bit closer there. And then maybe just maybe. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, we'll just uh, we'll just leave it like so for now. And we do have a pretty good demand for commercial, so this area should start coming in right away. And I am still trying to keep the uh, the pipes as clean as possible. And let's see, what's the best way to do this one? How about we run a straight one all the way to, where does it curve? It curves over here. So we'll do that. Uh, connecting it, we can connect from there. I think that should be good. That should be just a-okay. There we go, and I'll be honest with you guys. Um, <clears throat> when I got the uh, the Elgato, I was so excited that uh, that it came in that I almost made an unboxing video of it. Can you imagine that? When I first started the channel, though, I did um, I did want to do some maybe unboxing of, of some product. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely gave it some uh, some serious thought about making an unboxing video for the Elgato, and um, I didn't. But um, I will uh, I will have to compliment the folks over there at at Elgato. They um. They helped a whole lot. I uh, I didn't have to pay for for anything, not even shipping for the old uh, old box. They simply um they simply said, "Hey, you know, we cannot diagnose a hardware issue over um over the internet or or phone in a sense. Uh, go ahead, send in your old device, and we are gonna send you a." Uh, a brand new one and sure enough four day shipping to them and uh, about four day shipping back to me and uh, here we are new device but yeah super um, super great team uh, team to work with they're um, they're actually a uh, Corsair which which I did not know um, they're not uh, I guess Corsair bought out Delgado or whatever it was. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, they're uh, Corsair. So thank you again, kind folks at uh, Corsair for, I don't want to say hooking it up, but yeah, hooking it up. <laughs> it's really cool of you. And that looks wonky. If we try some freeform game here. Oh, come on. What does that look like? That doesn't look all that bad. It's still a uh, still pretty steep in there. So let's try to do one like this. That's a little bit better. And that is not bad. What I'm trying to do, obviously, is uh, put in a pathway network to kind of connect the two areas together. 
Uh, the reason I put in these two plazas is for power transfer, which works. So let's go ahead and we're going to zone a little bit of leisure or not leisure. We are zoning tourism. And we're going to go ahead and put the game on three speed and uh, let that develop. Let's check it over here on our park. Looks like everything for the most part has rebuilt and uh, kind of sort of greened up. Uh, the fire that we had here is completely recovered. And our college and dorm area is, uh, is looking pretty sweet as well. It's kind of a cool contrast from, uh, from here to over there as well. I should, uh, I should probably put in some, uh, some pathways from from here to here. Bus lines are... I think we could increase some uh, some bus lines now. So here we're at 60%. Which line is this, by the way? Uh, do we have it highlighted? So this is the one bringing the workers here we only have 79 passengers but we could we could use three more buses why not let's let's do it how about the blue line the blue line takes us ah from here and that one seems uh at least over here on this end seems to be pretty uh pretty popular so let's Go ahead and increase this one to six buses for now. And this other light blue one actually connects this neighborhood here to um, to the university college campus. So we're going to increase that one to six. Actually, this one goes up to five buses. And uh, hopefully that will help. And there we go. We are a grand city. We got a third loan, a solar power plant. And um, I think that's actually a good uh, good place to end this episode. Again, I'm excited to be back. Let's, uh, let's hope for a video a week at the very least. And I know I've got some making up to do. So if I find some time this weekend, I'll try to uh, try to record one or two episodes and try to get them released by mid next week. Um but I can't guarantee it. I cannot guarantee it. My, uh, my life, my life's been pretty darn busy. In any case, guys, thank you so much for coming back and, and watching my videos, hopefully coming back. Um, as always be the best that you can be in everything that you do. And I'm excited to see you guys back for another one.